Today we're going to be talking about the brand Cut. If you're not familiar with Cut, C-U-T, Cut.com, they have a website, but really their YouTube channel is what we're talking about today. It's one of the most impressive brands on YouTube. I truly think, as a YouTube consultant who's been in the space for 10 years, that Cut is doing it perfectly when no one else is. And we're going to go into why that is. Here's my twist. We're going to hop into a screen share. I only look at thumbnails and titles and occasionally topics and intros when those are relevant, something that I call the eight second rule. I have a whole video about the eight second rule that you can go watch, as well as consistency, because consistency is really the name of the day, the word of the day. So without further ado, let's hop into this screen share and talk about cut.com and why I'm such a big, big fan of this channel and the content they make. First off, just looking at their thumbnails, right? This is the number one thing I look for with thumbnails is faces, really good shots of faces and close-ups on faces. There's a tendency to make shots and thumbnails too wide. Like, I actually, what is soaking? I really don't like that thumbnail. I think it's very, way, way, way too wide. It's another one. Yeah, these kind of side-by-sides. Look, they follow the eight second rule. You're delivering on the way the video opens. So what is the eight second rule? Well, look at me and my ex best friend. Look at that thumbnail. Let's open the video and just watch the first couple seconds. Fill them up. Gotta love a 15 second ad, jeez. Let's each take turns apologizing. Boom, and there's the thumbnail on the right, right? I'm using vidIQ, that's how I have this. But you can see, it, you're, you're giving the audience exactly what they're expecting and exactly what they want because the thumbnail and the title match up with the intro of the video. That's the eight second rule at its simplest. Great color contrast, so bright colors. You have these solid flat backgrounds that are all white or all black or bifurcated in the middle. So it looks somewhat like a versus video where you have a red panel on the left and a black panel on the right. That creates a really engaging and dynamic image, kind of this half on half look especially a diagonal angle, all of that adds up. That really can have an impact. So thumbnails, they do well enough, let's say. I mean, yes, could their thumbnails be better? Thumbnails can always be better, gang. But next we're going to talk about titles. Let's look at titles and topics real quick. Their topics are always so interesting. 100 people show us how to flirt. <laughs> right? Isn't that interesting? Are you lonely? Like, these are great topics and questions that I think anyone would want to click on. From 1 to 10, how racist are you? What a great question, right? What's your zodiac sign? Match the instrument to the person. They have these really clever, fun topic ideas that are just engaging and fun to watch. Now, here's their real secret and why I love them. I'm gonna open five videos totally at random, completely at random, that I haven't seen. I'm gonna, I'll open six, why not? Just to make sure it's be, we're being totally fair. And I'm gonna show you why I like this channel. The secret, as always, is consistency. If you can be consistent and give your brand a consistent voice and a consistent narrative and a consistent feel, everyone's going to love you. And that's why Cut is bigger than Wired. That's why Cut is bigger than GQ. That's why Cut is bigger than so many other brands in this space, because they know how to be consistent with their tone, with their style, with their voice, in a way that people will always know. When I go to Cut.com, I know what to expect. So without further ado, how let's play flirt. a few. How I flirt. OK. Hey, baby. <laughs> That's How awesome. racist are you on a scale from one to ten? I'm, I'm gonna say if you live in America and you were born here and you're grown up and you're fifty. Now the subject matter of these videos are wildly different, but look at the shot composition. Look at that solid color background, and the tone, which is very real, right? You're just hearing a person talk, and you're hearing someone from behind the camera talk to somebody that's on camera. There are a lot of similarities that may not be readily apparent to you, and you're like, well, anybody could do that. No, many people don't. And I'll, give, I'll show you a couple examples later on in this video. We're going to look at GQ as well as Wired, and you'll see the difference right away. This brand is consistent. Another solid background. Now, this is not a good intro, in my opinion. They, this, they should have used voiceover. They should have explained this. My name this. is Anjali. Okay. Hello, 
I'm 31. Very real imagery. Next. Why do you think we do that for real? I mean, it's just like one of those things where you're a high school sweetheart, you've been together. You have this Teach solid... Teach me how to say oh. the button in sign language. You have this solid black background. You have just people in an environment where they're talking to each other. There's no real oh, music. Like Another one. No real music or effects. And they have four or five formats, right? And those formats are either you're interviewing somebody, you're interviewing a few different people and, and their faces are direct to camera, or you're having these engaging side-by-sides where two people sit on either side of a table. And then the third format is this kind of group setting format. They never deviate from those three formats. If you scroll through and just click on all of their videos, it's all some variation of that. And even with within those three variations, there's always a solid color background it always has a similar feel and tone, and that is why Cut.com is doing so well, because they're hyper-consistent, and even though they have different shows, it all really feels like one show. That's why Cut does well. Now we're going to take a look at Wired, and we're going to take a look at GQ, and you're going to see what I mean. Do you want GQ? So... This is where every other brand wishes wishes they were cut.com. So I'm going to open up three videos entirely at random from GQ. You're GQ. You're going to do all of the cool stuff. I don't know. Guardians of the Galaxy Will Poulter, right? And Why he's I'm talking about that. shoes. Next. You talk. Now I'm getting a clip for a movie. Not a good intro, Why? by the way. This is a horrible intro. succession you have completely different human being these these are totally not similar at all we can all perform and then you have clips from tim cook random clips from tim cook a subscriber of gq has no idea what they're getting on a day-to-day -day basis they just don't know and so when they get those subscriber notifications they're either going to turn it off or they're going to unsubscribe right so now let's go look at wired What's up, Mafia? I'm Eric, and I'm doing the Wired Autocomplete interview. Yeah. Hi, I'm Ali Wong. Hi, I'm Steven So Young. Wired is more is consistent, Wired. right? I'm Jonah Mendez, former C I'm Arthur Brooks. Wired is a little more consistent, and they've really grown in the past few years because they have that killer format. Famous person answers the web's most searched questions. They have a ton of different variations of the, on that format. But basically, they interview a famous person, like, you know, Bob Odenkirk or... KSI or whoever, and they have them answer the web's most searched questions. And that's really the channel as it stands now. But they do have some other formats that have that solid white background. And if you haven't noticed, they've been a lot more consistent lately. And you can see that with their subscriber count. They have 10 million subscribers. Let's go back to GQ for I'm a Arthur second. Brooks. Let's go back to GQ. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. GQ only has 7 million. Now, you and I would love to have 7 million or 10 million subscribers, but these studios have big freaking budgets, and they have big budgets that allow them to bring in big talent and make content that's going to get eyeballs. If you just want to play the algorithm game and upload just a ton of content and upload a ton of content that has a ton of interest, like there's no consistency at all, but every video I post is like an interview with a celebrity or a game that a celebrity plays, your videos are going to do well. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about how to build an audience that's targeted, that's focused on a specific kind of content, and that's guaranteed to grow over time because you're giving them what they expect. And that is what Cut does so well that GQ doesn't and Wired could do better at, honestly. I think Wired has gotten a lot better in the last couple years about being consistent, particularly the last couple months, just looking at their content. You know, if you look at Wired from a year and a half, two years ago, it looks nothing like this. That's really the secret. You can see I'm watching Critical Role. <laughs> I love Critical Role. But that's really the secret is, is consistency. That's why I wanted to just kind of go off on Cut for a bit and talk about why they work. Oh, we forgot to do my favorite activity, uh, which your... is comparing their latest against their most popular. Now, here's an interesting secret. Oh, I'll do this with Wired and GQ as well. If you compare the latest to the most popular videos, there's a tremendous amount that you can go and learn. Namely, if your latest videos look nothing like your most popular videos, you are doing something wrong. So we're on cut right now. We're gonna look at their most popular videos. 
and you can see they look pretty much exactly the same. Very similar content. We've seen it before. Yes, they have a few breakouts because they were trying to advertise Hi Ho, their new channel. But most of this content is exactly the same. Now we're going to go look at GQ and look at GQ, which is a smaller channel that gets fewer views. And we're going to compare their latest against their most popular. Looks really different, right? Not totally different, not wildly different, but looks very different from their latest. And now we're going to go look at Wired looks kind of the same, right? Why is that? Well, because the web's most searched questions format is doing really well, and they kept doing it. There's a reason Wired is growing faster than GQ, and there's a reason Cut is growing faster than Wired. The secret is consistency. However, are there other things that you can do? Do you really need to be consistent? Well, yes and no. While it's ideal to be consistent and have some kind of brand voice, no matter what you do, if you just post a lot of content, you're going to get views. And if you post a lot of content with celebrities that people want to see, and those celebrities then tweet and say, hey, I was on this channel, or they post on Instagram and say, hey, I was on this channel, and they have a million followers, you're going to get hundreds of thousands of views. That's why star power exists, right? That's why influencers exist. But if you want to get to that next level, you want to grow faster and bigger and be better than any other brand out there, you got to do what Cut.com does. That's how you get to the next level. That's how you grow as a brand is you get a hyper consistent vision for what your brand looks like and you don't deviate from that vision. And when you want to deviate, you launch a new channel to fit that new vision. That's the secret. So I hope this was interesting. If you enjoyed this or if you want me to give you a channel review, please let me know. I'm always happy to do that. Hit me up in the comments if you have questions, if something maybe you didn't understand or it felt confusing to you. I probably have a video explaining it already. I hope to hear from you. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We love followers and I love having people watch more of my videos. <laughs> Thanks, gang. Bye.